time, I'd like to invite Anthony J. Howard, selected by fellow graduates of the class of 2022, to give their undergraduate alumni response. <laughs> Anthony is from Chicago, Illinois, and graduated this morning with a Bachelor of Music Education. While studying at Concordia Chicago, he has served for three years as a student ambassador in the Office of Undergraduate Admission and two years as a resident assistant on campus. He is also an active member of the music department in the Wind Symphony as a tuba player and in various choir ensembles. Recently, he completed his student teaching at Oak Park and River Forest High School and plans to begin his teaching career this fall as a band director in the Chicagoland area. Anthony's long-term goal is to impact the lives of young musicians and cultivate their love for music through the performing arts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Anthony J. Howard. Good morning and welcome faculty, administration, staff, family, and relatives, as well as our distinguished guests to our spring 2022 undergraduate uh, commencement ceremony. Thank you all for joining us on such a momentous occasion. My name is Anthony Howard. Many of you know me as AJ, and I'd like to share with you all my journey up into this moment, um, and hopefully you'll resonate with my story. <clears throat> A curious and music-loving little black boy from Chicago is how I would describe young AJ. I loved basketball and had dreams of being the next NBA star. Clearly, that hasn't happened. Um, in the seventh grade, I began to play the tuba and band, and it was one of the most exciting times in my life. Ever since that moment, my love for music grew, and it made me wonder what my future possibilities were beyond high school. As a future first-generation student, the thought of college seemed out of reach and pretty terrifying. Being bullied for having learning disabilities in school caused major insecurities regarding my academic abilities. Thankfully, my parents were persistent and reminded me to try my best regardless of the challenge. Thank you, love you. Um, also, I'm sure many of you all can remember that one teacher who saw the best in you and pushed you to your full potential. For me, it was Ms. Vincent French. She's here today. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you so much for pushing me out of my comfort zone, wherever you are, um, and playing a vital role in my preparation for college. Going to college and making it through a degree, um, it, it's ultimately scary and takes a lot of faith. Many of us arrived here in August four years ago, and we were filled with so much anxiety and questioning if we were going to be ready for college. Anybody else felt that way? Yeah? Okay, I'm not the only one. All right. <clears throat> Throughout our journey, we faced a multitude of obstacles, ranging from balancing two jobs, finding money to pay for college, late study session, relationship issues, waking up for 6 a.m. practices, 2 a.m. fire alarms, and the den closing the grill before 10, all right? <laughs> but regardless, we kept pushing through. An obstacle that none of us saw coming was COVID-19. I don't know about y'all, but remote learning is not a vibe, so hopefully we don't have to do that again. Um, my motivation tanked, depression set in, and the assignments kept piling up. But then again, we kept pushing on. The feeling of trauma and grief caused by police brutality seemed to be a never-ending battle for people who look like me, but regardless of the obstacle, we held on to our faith and kept pushing forward. We should be very proud of our efforts, but there are, there are other elements to this equation. As you all may know, it took a village for us to make it to this day. I'd like to use this time for us to reflect on those who were vital in our success. Can we get a huge round of applause for our parents? Yep. Thank you for the unconditional love and support to all the parents out there, including my own. We appreciate all the sacrifices you all have made um, that we may never know about. 
All right, and now can we get a huge round of applause for our professors? Thank you for the extension on late assignments, constant support, and inspiring us to be great leaders such as yourselves. Though I've been praying for graduation to get here since freshman year, and like many of you all probably, um, there are going to be a lot of things that I'm gonna miss. Um, our unofficial campus dog, Fiona, rest in peace. Felicia will be in all of my business when I enter the calf. <laughs> Buffalo chicken wrap combos. And all of you, the amazing people who make CUC feel like a really big family. Now, this is the moment that we take everything that we've learned over the past four years and apply it to the real world. As we begin this next chapter in our lives, remember that everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So keep walking in faith, take chances, and don't stop dreaming. The world's waiting on us. Thank you. <laughs>